Hey everybody, Mr. Lawrence here. This is the Piano Adventures series by Nancy and Randall Faber. This is level 2A, lesson book, page 50 and 51. The name of the song is Sword Dance. Now here's another blank in front of the five finger scale. Huh, I wonder what five finger scale we're working with. Uh, let's just take a look at the first chord here. We have a D, we have an F and an A. Oh, it might be the D five finger scale. Okay, and that's what it is. So, uh, let's talk about the song, and then we're going to talk about uh, something else real quickly. So we have loud. Make sure that you count. So this is one and two, three. One, two, three. One and two. One and two and three. Notice one and two and three. One and two and three. Okay. One and two, three. One, two, three. One and two and three. One, two, three. Then it changes over here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one and two and three and one, two, off. Okay, make sure you read your rhythms carefully. All right, so something else, let's take a look at. We have forte and then on over to mezzo piano and then back to forte. And then we have a mezzo piano with a crescendo and a decrescendo piano kind of stays there for a minute. And then back to forte, mezzo piano, forte, and then it stays in, uh, in forte through the end of the song, okay? Notice the accents at the end of the song. All right, now, let's go back and notice something else. We have legato into staccato, legato into staccato, legato into staccato, and it continues to do that, okay? Then we have a lot of legato going on here. See that? See that? Okay, and then legato into staccato. Back to the same concept as what we found at the beginning. All right. So make sure you're paying attention to all those things. We have a short little, well, a uh, 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 fermata here. Okay. Uh, there's a little hint in the music. It says move quickly. It's because you're down here at an E with the right hand. It says move quickly. That means move your hand. <laughs> On that rest, move your hand quickly because you got to go all the way up to another E, okay? Up to that E. So you go from the middle E to treble E to continue playing on. All right, all right. So keep that in mind. Uh, here is Sword Dance, and then we're going to talk about something else. Now, I made a couple of mistakes in there. I'm not going to reveal what they are right now, other than this one. I didn't go down an octave. Make sure you go down an octave on the D and the A. I'm going to play this one more time after I talk about this. Tempo, you should know by now, means the speed of the music. Okay, and We have three tempo markings that's given to us in this particular song. Okay, Because the, the authors, Nancy and Randall Faber, are encouraging you to kind of play around with the speed of this song, Sword Dance. Okay? Uh, perhaps you might want to take it at Allegro, which is fast and lively. Moderato, moderately slower than Allegro, and or Adante, kind of like at a walking speed. So maybe think of Allegro as running, Moderato as jogging, and Adante as walking. That might be kind of a safe way of defining those, okay? Now you'll notice these markings over here, the 126 to 168, 108 to 120, 76 to 104, that's metronome markings, metronome markings, okay? You might have a metronome, I don't know. I don't really have one, I always have one here on my phone, um, so it does me no good to go to it right now while I'm trying to make this video, okay? But that's what those markings are for when you see those in your book, okay? So once again, Allegro, Think of it as running, moderato, jogging, adante, andante, as like a walking speed, okay? I'm going to play this one more time, and I'm going to keep it at a right around Allegro, okay? And uh, here it is.
All right. My Allegro tempo is rather fast, so I will admit that. All right. So just play around with it after you learn it. Be wise about your learning and your practice. Okay, I'm going to sign off for now.